Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you all here with me today. It's Friday. Yes, it is Friday again. So yesterday I got my cat origami paper in. So I want to look through that with you guys. I haven't even opened it yet, but by the pictures, I think I might like this better than the dog one. Not even joking. So we're going to play in my dog and cat glue book today, but I wanted to show you where I'm at with my black and white glue book because it's almost finished. So I added black cardstock to the cover and to the back. And I also added some washi tape along the spine. And then I added this cat image to the front. Now I'm not done like decorating and stuff. Oops, I need to glue that back down. Um, I'm not done decorating. I've basically just got all the backgrounds done on it. And thank you to everybody telling me this was Jane. Yes, I did know. I just didn't mention it. Um, she's amazing. So yeah, I have lots of stuff I still need to decorate. But I have all the backgrounds done so that now I get to just do like the fun part. I mean, it's all fun, but you know what I mean. This is the only page I haven't done yet. And I think because I want to put maybe a full page on here. And I was just so exhausted yesterday because um, I did way too much. I shouldn't have done all this. Um, and then I finished. Well, these aren't finished, but you know what I mean. So all of these are covered. I love this cat one. So, yep, there we go. That's my book so far. I have cardstock on this as well, like I said. So, yeah, I'm almost done with my black and white glue book. All I get to do now is have fun by embellishing it and adding all the bits and bobs. Um, I found this on the bottom of um, a scrapbook paper. You know how there's always, like, a strip you have to cut off, and it says, I'm here to be awesome. And damn right, I am here to be awesome, man. Okay, so let me move that out of the way. Let's open up this uh, paper, shall we? been talking about it for days let me see here this is a hundred pieces of cat origami paper I like to use origami paper in my glue books and collage work for a couple reasons one it's inexpensive and two I like that it's thin okay so these are also double-sided the other side has Ooh, I'm saving this use that for something artist trading cards um they're double-sided on the other side is a solid color so i love this oh my gosh that is so cute i've i've wanted to draw this i see a lot of people doodle this same pattern look how cute that is and then the back side of that is purple oh i love this that is cute pink on the other side oh look at those little cutie patooties that's cute i love that Okay, green on the other. Oh, I love this one. Look how sweet their little faces look. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, this one's cute too. It has little balls of yarn. Oh, I love this one. It looks so cute with their little cheeks. That's cute. Oh, this one's cute too. They kind of look like gummy bears to me. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Red, black, and white. Oh, I could have used that in my black and white glue book this one's interesting not my favorite still super cute just I feel like it's so different from the rest oh I love this one look how cute that is oh, I'm not showing the other colors but you know it's a solid color oh, this one's really cute it has butterflies too oh my gosh I love that oh look how cute these are oh there's little fish bowls that's cute. And then it just repeats. Okay, so that's, I'm going to take uh, the 10 of those, or however many this is. I'm assuming 10, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, 12 designs. Okay. All right, so last time I did six papers for my dog. This could go for dog or cat, though, huh? So let's pick out some different ones. Let's see, what else do I want? Oh, I definitely want to use this one. And probably that one, just because it's different from the rest. That, oh my gosh, but I like them all. It's so hard to pick. Okay, so let's just start by cutting up those for now. Okay, I'm gonna go cut these up into little chunks. 
um, like I did my other ones. Although I think for this, I might actually cut them a little bit bigger instead of having like little tiny pieces. I might cut them more like, I think I'm going to cut them into, so this is six by six. I'm going to cut it in half, which will give me a three by six. And then I'll cut these two uh, in half to make them three by threes. That way I'm not, you know, I don't have a bunch of little tiny bits. Okay, so we'll cut this at three. I'll just show you with my first one. So I'm gonna keep that. Now remember, you can use the solid colors on the back as well. And then I will cut this in half because it's also a three by six. So we'll cut this at three again. All right, and I'm cutting three papers at a time. All right, so there we go. Three or four, depending. I think I have seven sheets here. All right, so now that I have some cat papers, that might not be enough, but we'll see. Okay, so let's let's start adding a cat page here, just right off the, the rip here, because um, I have so much dog stuff in here already that we need to add some cat stuff. So let's collage some cat pages here. And uh, we'll just get started. Let's kick it off with, actually, maybe I'll do on the back here. I think I'll, maybe I'll do it on the back of this. Okay, so I keep saying you can use the other sides, obviously, because it's a solid color, but I love the pattern so much, I have yet to use the solid color on the other side, because I just love it. It's, the patterns are so cute. I don't know if I finished my sentence earlier. I Honestly, I can't remember. I'm so foggy today, but the reason why I like to use origami paper or wrapping paper, that kind of stuff, is because it's thin, and because we glue so much in these, it just feels better in the end to use a thinner paper. If it's too thick, your your book gets so bulky that it's it's hard to work in and stuff. So thin papers, because I layer so many papers, just works best for me personally. You don't have to do that. That's just what I do. Um, so I don't want you to think you have to do that. Now, I cut these three by six and three by three fully knowing that I'm going to have to trim some of these papers down. I just like to cut them down to get a start, if that makes sense. Just to break them down a bit. Um, I do that when I do my master boards and stuff too. I just cut, cut things down to a few different sizes and then I adjust as I go. Okay, dokey. There we go. Ooh, I love how colorful these are. That's fun. So these papers have been in a link in my description box, but also um, I always pin a comment. So if you go to the comment section of my videos, at the very top will be a comment from me uh, with the links to everything that you guys need. I want to do this one, I think. Maybe like that. Oh, I didn't cut any horizontally. I only cut them all vertically. I didn't think about that. Um, let's cut a few more. I'm going to cut a few more and I'll be right back. I'm going to, because I cut all these going this way, I want to cut some going this way as well. So I'm going to cut those other papers. What do you guys have planned for the weekend? Anything fun? We are, uh, well, I have my goddaughter's birthday party tomorrow. And... Bob, I think, is going to be making some jerky in our smoker again. I think he made he made some yesterday, too. But he likes to take advantage of when it's nice out uh, to make that kind of stuff. And then um, Sunday is my cousin's memorial. So I'll be going to that so we can celebrate her life. And then I think the busyness of my life will start to calm down. It's just been something every single day for like two or three weeks. And my body is finally like, eh, we're done here. <laughs> my body's like, too much. We're doing too much. I get it. I do. Okay, let's see. Let's grab. That's too similar. Why don't I use this one? Cut it right here. Is that the same? Is this one and a half? Yeah. Okay. We'll cut this down to one and a half. And we'll put it right here. Oh, does it not go to the top? I don't know. 
we're gluing it anyways. Okay. And we're gluing. Remember to use, um, if you're doing this, like the same kind of glue book as me, remember to utilize your washi tape. If you have any dog or cat washi tape or um, stickers, you can use all that kind of stuff. So like if this really bothered me because I have just the teeniest bit right here that is white, I could add some washi tape right there. Not a big deal. Not at all. Okay, actually I'm going to use my X-Acto knife for this because I just feel like I cut better like this. It's faster for me and it gives me less headaches. Go all the way across. Maybe I'll go across this way. You know what? I think I want to use something like this. I want to make it, yeah, I didn't want to have a thin strip going across the bottom. So I'll do this. I need to cut it about right there. Hopefully that was a good spot. And it was perfect. Yes. There we go. Tonight for dinner, we're making taco salads. Are we nice? Bob's very excited. <laughs> we always discuss what we're going to have on the weekends because, you know, I've talked a lot about this, that we cook a lot together and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we we have fun with... So, taco salads isn't something we normally do, but we haven't done it in forever. So, we figured it's been so nice out and stuff, and we were like, ah, I want a salad. And I said to Bob yesterday, I said, you know what we haven't made in a long time? is taco salads and he goes let's do it tomorrow <laughs> all right let's do it easy enough for me to do okay i want to add what have i not added yet a lot of these a lot a lot i do like this i might put this right here okay it doesn't really matter i'm kind of being picky kind of not because remember, I'm going to glue cat images over the top of these two. And you don't have to um, glue anything over the top. If you like the background the way it is, just leave it. Yeah, you're not obligated to have to put like a focal point or, you know, anything like that. Just remember, um, glue books are for you. I mean, your glue book is yours. You do it how, you know, you like it and what you think looks best. Because this doesn't look bad the way it is, right? You could even just put some stickers on here and stuff, too. I think because this is one and a half, I'll just put this right here. And then all I need is a little strip at the bottom. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. We're almost done. That was fast. So fast. Almost as fast as my black and white glue book. <laughs> I don't know what came over me yesterday, but I have been talking about that for a while. And I really just had so much fun. Okay, so now I just need something on the bottom. Why don't I just do this right here? I think that's a good idea. So we'll cut off a one and a half. Why does this remind me, what is it, the Grateful Dead that have that, like, the bear emblems or whatever? Okay, so we want that, and then I need to obviously cut a strip. So let's cut this at one inch. which I think is too much, but that's all right. I'd rather have too much. It is too much. But that's fine. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Nice. Oh, I really like these cat peepers. These are cute. Get over there. Why is my, everything's just sticking so fast today. It's not giving me any wiggle room. Okay. So we got that side done. Let me... Should I do both sides? I kind of feel like I want to switch and go. Oh, I do need to put the cat one on this side because I have a cat one just like this. Let's find it. Okay, so this will be a full page as well. I don't have to do that right this second. And then here is this one right here. This says raise the wolf. This says cool cats ready to walk, uh, rock. Let's see what the songs are. Cats in the Cradle by Cat Stevens. Say So by Doja Cat, Black Cat by Janet Jackson, Mean-Eyed Cat by Johnny Cash. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, these are, oh, they do have the Stray Cat, Stray Cat Strut. I love that song. I love that so much. Okay, so we will end up gluing this on this page, but I don't want to do that right now. Okay, um, I do want to go back to that cat page, though, because I have some of these cat images. Now, I could put, I mean, that would kind of defeat the purpose of the, some of the images I have on here, because it would take up all of them. So that I might just glue over here. Okay, we'll do that. So I have, oh yeah, this is a cute one. I could do something like this. And then I have this little kitty. This is what my Gretchen kitty looked like. Oh, the orange kitty. Oh, and the kid with the kitty. Okay, hold on. I think I might go like this. And like this. And then no like that and then I could put other like cat treats and that kind of stuff around it like smaller things and then I also have this little kitty that I could put here too like maybe like that okay so let's glue these down I have fresh paper here yes I do not want to ruin my little images Ooh, so fun I think I might cut up some cats and dogs from my cut and collage books as well just a few. I really like using magazines, especially the ones that I've been using are all have been free uh, catalogs and free magazines and stuff. So that's been really fun. But I thought, you know, I might toss a couple of those in as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then I also want to look through my stickers because I have a ton of dog and cat stickers and I want to get some of those out that I can play with in here too. Um, so another great thing to do to get some images for this would go be go to the Dollar Tree and look at their stickers. And then also look at like um, children's books and stuff there. A lot of times they'll have like cat Im or, you know, dog and cat stuff. I could put this like this down here. I kind of like them joining together. We'll do that. They're joining together in holy matrimony. Here we go. And we're gluing. Oh, little special needs kitty. Okay, so this side, let's do some kitty collage. So yesterday when I was talking about finding black and white images and I was talking about junk mail, I wasn't saying that they're, you know, to look for black, black and white photo images on there. What I meant was by look at your um, junk mail is for items that are black or white that you can cut out like fussy cut to accentuate like my leather jacket that I used and all the little black things that I've cut out uh, to fussy, you know, fussy cut on there is what I meant. Um, you might find some black and white images in your junk mail, but uh, like photos. But what I what I meant was finding objects like, you know, a black record or a black shoe or a black purse or you know what I mean, things like that. Okay, so we have that down, and then I also want to put this. Yes, I'll go this way. Yeah, okay. Also, look at your um, your clear stamps or wooden stamps, you know. Uh, you might have dog and cat, and you can stamp them out on some copy paper, and then you could color them in, or you could stamp your... Um, oh, man, I stuck it on glue. Dang it. Uh, you could stamp your, your composition notebook paper or whatever your book is that you're using. You can just stamp, you know, paw prints on the background or... You know, something like that. And now I'm going to add paper like this one. I'll add this down the side. So I need about an inch. Ooh, what is up with my glue stick? It's got a mullet. You got a business in the front and party in the back. Let's, let's give you a little hair transplant. Make it even all the way around. 
I'm just using the heat of my finger to kind of get that glue to stick back down. Okay. Ugh. Got that down. Now I just need to trim it before it sticks to everything. Okay, so we have that side done, and then I need to add something here. What can I add there? Do I have any, where all my pieces at? Where are some, oh, will this fit right here? No, way too small. Okay, so let's do maybe, actually I need one that's taller. Hey, right. there's that strip that I just cut off the other one and it fits here perfectly. <gasps> Love it when that happens. Okay. All right. And we're gluing. Let's get this over here on the side where I want it. Where's my little tool? Get in that crack. It's the only time this is acceptable to say that. <laughs> Put this right here. I could have also used washi right there as well, but that's okay. I wanted to use the paper. All right, so let's trim this up real fast here. All right, so now we have those done. I do want to add some cat washi tape across. I think I want to use this one. I want something that goes across here. Hope that was straight. Yeah, it's straight enough. Boop. All right. Fantastic. Love it. Now I need some. Oh, I need to round my corners. Okay, so I have these cute little post it notes. Uh, that were sent to me in a happy mail. So I figured I could use these as well. I'll just glue them down as ephemera. Super cute cats. I'll use those right now. And then I, these are some other, um, this is an 80s pet, but I love the little dog heads and stuff. So we have that. And then same with this one. There's some dogs and cats and stuff in here. So, and then I have these dog heads, these dog stickers. Ooh, what's this? That little sticker that fell off. So here's a lot of dog stuff. And then this is dogs and cats. Cats, dogs, cats and 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 dogs, and just dogs. Okay, so I'm going to put all the dog stuff in my basket for right now. And then I'll put these sticker books in there as well. And then I also have these cat heads stickers. Um, that I could use as well. Okay, so let's add, well, first I want to check out a couple of these little post-it notes that I'll just glue down. So let's add some of these kitties. Let's add this uh, orange one here. So obviously because it's a post-it, there's only sticky on part of it. So I'm just going to use the whole, or my glue stick and glue the whole thing. So you could also look for post-its like at the Dollar Tree and stuff like that. So where do I want to put this little guy? Oh, I already have some orange cats on that side. I am this side. Didn't even realize I was doing that. Yeah, maybe I'll just put them right here. Okay, and then I want that, I want this black and white one. Where do I want to put him? Maybe on this side? Or I could put him right here. Let's do that. Okay. Ooh, this is so fun. Oh my gosh. I freaking love glue books. It is so fun. Put him right here. Perfect. You can also look at kids trading or like um, flashcards for um, dogs and cats as well. I want to add another one because I'm obsessed now. Or should I hold off? 
Maybe I'll hold off. I don't want to fill the whole page with these. Okay, I'm going to put those back in my little basket for a second. And then, ooh, let's grab some of these. Okay, so these paw prints are not, like, individually cut out. But I'm going to cut them out and make a frame and then stick it down. Or maybe just a strip or something, like, I can do borders. Okay, so let's add a kitty. I want to add this one. I think I am just going to add a little bit of glue to my sticker just to make sure. Sometimes stickers kind of plop back up, but I just wanted to put one right here. And then I want to take this one with yarn. Put this one right here. Okay, what else do I have? Some bright, colorful, fun ones too. I wish I had like, um, I need like little accessories for them, like cat toys and stuff. Okay. What happened to my little picture? Oh, here it is. Huh. I wonder if I could just set this that would be bad right here. No, I'm going to do that. I'm going to add that right there. Okay. Want a little border of the color all the way around it. Okay. I need some like paw prints and stuff. Okay. Let's see here. I do have, you know, let's put a cat with some glasses. Why not? We'll go with purple right there. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then this one is like coming out the side. Oh my gosh, I love this with the pink border. Now watch this. Wait, do I want to put it right here? Or way over here? I'll put it way over here. Okay, there's that. And then it has this little hi. <laughs> we put it right here. <laughs> Can you see that? I love it. Okay. Well, that was fun. Who doesn't love stickers? Um, I'm going to leave some spots blank because I definitely want to add like some words and um, some cat toys and things of that nature. Ooh, do I have anything I want to add on this page? Because I wasn't done here, I said. Um, no, we're working on some cat things today. Okay, so let's do another collage page here. We'll just start here with this one. That works for me. If you've made it this far in the video, please show your support by giving this video a like and put in the comments a little emoji of a cat or paw prints or something of that nature. Uh-oh, did I glue this on? Oh, gosh. I have been a very messy gluer the last couple days and it's driving me nuts. I don't know if it's my tiredness or what the deal is. Getting stuff everywhere. Okay, this now. Oops. See, I'm just super clumsy and gluing things all over the place. Get to the edge. You get to the edge. I haven't used this one. Let's use this one. That's cute. That's really cute. I love this origami paper. Oh my gosh. And you get a hundred sheets. That's crazy. I mean, granted, it is six by six, but gosh, you can't even get a six by six paper pad for that. Okay, there we go. I love this paw print paper. Super cute. Where's my... Oh. I can't see where the edge is. So I need to come over just a little bit. Eh, we're good. I'll trim it. Okay. Whoop. I should do a Q&A of my favorite craft stuff because everybody has, like, everybody likes different things. You know what I mean? I definitely know what my favorite tool or, well, I don't know why I did air quotes. It technically is a tool or a machine or whatever in my craft room is. Should I save that for my Q&A? I 
I like to do this thing with the glue crew where I give them like, uh, you know, 12 facts about me and one of them's a lie or something like that. And they have to pick which one it is. I've done that about, I don't know how many times I've done that. Four times maybe? Five? I don't know. I feel like I've done it quite a few times. And the last one I did was super easy. Way easy. Every all, Most of the people got it. Um, but sometimes they've been really hard and I really fooled some people. They're like, there's no way you did this or there's no way you had that or whatever. <laughs> I did. I fooled you. I've had an interesting life. <laughs> there. Um, oh, I forgot about this one. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I forgot about it. And I literally just used it. Um, should I use this? Do I have another thin piece of it? I just want to see if I had any more thin one and a half inch little pieces sitting around. I think I've used them all. Okay, I'll cut this down to one and a half. This one's not my favorite. I'm going to be totally honest this pattern. It's still cute. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I don't know. It's not my favorite one. <laughs> Andrew came into my craft room last night while I was playing and he goes, what are you watching? <laughs> I was like, uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. You got a problem with that? <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> All you hear is, Rawr! you know, like when zombies, I can't do it. You know what I mean? Like when zombies attack and they make the Rawr sound. I've never been like a zombie movie person, but I'm telling you, the last few years I've gotten really into, like I really like the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, and I also like um, the Double Tap, Zombieland, not Double Tap, that's the second one, uh, Zombieland movies. I think they're really good too. Yep, it was exactly right. Man, I'm getting good at this measuring thing, I'm telling you. I'm starting to second guess myself because I've been, I've always been really um, good at eyeballing things. And like the last month I haven't been and I'm like, what is happening? Like my whole life I've been really good at that. And all of a sudden, I, you know what it is. I need to get my eyes checked. I keep saying that. Um, and I need to go and get an, make an appointment. They take walk-ins, but I don't, I would rather just make sure I have an appointment. Okay, so... Cut. I don't think I'll fussy cut this one uh, just because I think it'll be too hard to do that. So let's go across here and like this. I don't want these words right here, but I also could just put a sticker or something right here without having to cut this all the way over. So I think that's what I'll do for that one. I'll leave that. And then I want to cut this little guy out. I'm going to keep, is there anything I want on this side? I don't think so. So do I want to put my little main coon? like that. Actually, I could put it a little bit lower and then put main coon like this or like this. Main coon, friendly, smart, laid back. I don't think this is a main coon. It doesn't look like one to me, but it's also a long-haired cat though, so. Or I could also wait for some more Maine Coons to put on here. Could go like this, like this, like this. Yeah, let's do that, okay. Well, that's weird. I don't normally plan out my pages so much, but you know, when you only have a few things to put down. And it's totally okay that the other cat isn't a man coon, uh, Maine Coon if it's not a man coon. <laughs> wow. Um, it's just a glue book. It's just for funsies. It's just some good stuff to look at. 
It's not the end of the world. Gosh darn it, I got glue on this one too. I keep messing up. It just fell. Oh. There we go. We got the Maine Coon. That looks good. And then we'll add this little kitty right here. Because this little kitty went to market. No, no, no. This little kitty didn't go to market. Abort. Abort mission. <laughs> we don't want our kitty to go to market. <laughs> we don't want the piggy to go there either. All right. Here we go. We got that. And we'll put this. This right here. Friendly, smart, laid back. Hey, just like me. <laughs> just kidding. Um, all right. So... Did I have a Maine Coon in these stickers? Let me just look real fast. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, definitely not in those. Do we have one here? Oh, those are, no. And no, we have a Persian. These are just fun cats, so we could do any of those because they're just, you know, silly kitties. So let's add some of those. Oh wait, what else did I have? Oh, the Imes. Do I want to cut out the Imes? Because I imes, what I say I imes. I'll just use these whiskers. I ams, who I say I ams. And if I wasn't, then I don't remember how the rest of the song goes. <laughs> oh yeah, if I wasn't, then why would I say I am? There we go. I am who I am. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so we have that. And then, did I want to add a couple little cat stickers? These are really cute and fun. I mean, why not? Of course, I just got glue on it. Could put it right here. Oh, that's perfect. Put a little sticker right there. And then, do I want to put anything else? Oh, here's a little mouse. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Where should I put it? Oh, I'm going to put it right here on the corner of the cat food. <laughs> Is there only one? I need another one. Oh, here's a little ball of yarn too. Come on, yarn. Ooh, I'm gonna see in my craft catalogs. Um, I'm not gonna say what this looks like right now, but I think if anybody's like me, they totally know what I'm, where I'm going with that. I'll just put this down here. Uh. -uh. <laughs> this. We'll just do that. Okay. All right, everyone. We did really good today. We got these two pages done, which were a lot of fun. I can still add more things. I definitely need to go find more cat things to put in here. I have a lot of dog, not a lot of cat. Um, let's see. What else did we do? We did... Nope, that was the other day. Okay, and then this is a dog and cat page. Oh yeah, and we did this, which I'm not done with yet. I would definitely want to add something right here, but I just want to find what I want that to be. Um, but yeah, gosh, this was so much fun, you guys. I hope you had fun hanging out with me today while I glued in my dog and cat glue book. I'm really enjoying this glue book, like so much. I can't wait to play in it some more. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day and an amazing weekend. Don't forget to drink your water like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love it if you stuck around and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye friends.